Hi my dear kids today's video is all about the chapter means of transport in this video we will be learning about transport land transport water transport and air transport dear kids i would request you to watch the video till the end and share your valuable comments about how did you like the video so let's move on to watch the video transportation is the act of moving something from one place to another some people need to travel to different towns cities or countries for personal or business reasons children need to go to school every day sometimes we also go on a vacation using some form of transport modes of transport there are three modes of transport number 1 land transport number 2 water transport number 3 air transport land transport traveling by the means of land is called land transport nowadays faster means of land transport are being used these include cars buses scooters motorcycles and trains trucks cars scooters and bikes are included in private transport buses and trains are called public transport land transport can be categorized in two parts roadways and railways roadways roads are the means that connect one place to another on the surface of the land not all the roads look alike cities have broader and cemented roads as compared to brick paved and narrow roads in villages different vehicles running on the roads like bullock carts bicycles motorcycles cars trucks buses constitute the different means of road transport the network of indian roadways consists of national highways state highways district roads and rural roads national highways connect big cities and states state highways connect important cities within a state district and rural roads help us move around the countryside and the rural areas within a district Now let's know more about the railways. Transportation of goods and passengers through trains is called rail transport. Indian railway is a very important part of our land transport. It carries goods and passengers over long distances at a very reasonable prices. There are two main types of trains in india passenger trains and goods trains the passenger train carry people from one place to another and the goods train carries food grains cement steel fertilizer coal petroleum to distant places Both passenger and goods train run on diesel or electricity. Apart from these trains, some cities also have local trains and metros. These trains are used by daily commuters to travel within and around the city. Now let's know more about the water transport. Means of transport through water. is called water transport ships steamers and boats are the main means of water transport water transport is the oldest 
and the cheapest means of transporting bulk goods over long distances. But ships take a longer time to reach their destination. Passengers and heavy goods are transported by ships. Seaport is a town with a harbor used by large ships. Now let's know more about the air transport. Means of transport through air is called air transport. Air travel is costly but we use it to travel long distances in a short time. Aeroplanes take off and land at airports. Helicopters are very useful in emergencies. They can land on label ground or on helipads. Air transport may be classified as domestic and international air transport. Domestic air transport mainly facilitates movement within the country. On the other hand, international air transport is used for carrying goods and passengers among different countries. Animals are also used as a means of transport. Elephants are used for traveling in forested areas and mules and ponies in the hilly regions. In the mountains, we use ropeways, that is trolleys. In snow-covered areas, sledges are pulled by dogs called huskies, which are also an important means of transportation. Now, my dear kids, it's time for Brainy Facts. The longest road in India is the Sher Shah Suri Marg, or Grand Trunk Road which connects Kolkata with Peshawar which is in Pakistan. In New Delhi, all buses, taxis and auto rickshaws run on CNG that is compressed natural gas which is environment friendly. India has the fourth largest railway network in the world behind USA, China and Russia. In India, Kolkata was the first city to have the metro and underground train system. Mumbai is one of the busiest seaports in the world. Nicholas Joseph Kugnet built one of the first motor cars in 1769. It had three wheels and it moved at a speed of 6 km per hour. Dear kids, if you like the video, do hit a like Share your valuable comments on my channel about the video and also subscribe to my channel for more updates on social studies.